We're here with uh, Sean Duggan at the Birmingham Music Awards. So, Sean, tell us, how are you finding the Birmingham Music Awards so far? Uh, it's, it's, not, it's, 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 it's very homely, but it's very cold. Uh, it's, it's really interesting, actually, because I know about 60 people here. Like, it's crazy. There's a lot of people from the party the other day, man. But, yeah, it's great, man. I, I feel like the vibes, the vibes there, everybody's happy. And it's, you know, I can enjoy it whilst being sober. So. Fantastic, fantastic. So what's your impression so far of the Birmingham music scene? I think, I think to be fair with you, it died for quite a while. I was around when uh, the, the B-Town scene happened, and that was during like, a load of surf pop bands came out, so you had Peace, Swim Deep, Jaws, and I used to support those bands. And then once they made it, the scene died down a little bit, and then loads of venues are being closed down, and you know all that, but with the recent renovations now, with the Custard Factory and other, uh, like new, new venues being opened up on Bennett's Hill and stuff, I feel like there's now a new window of opportunity for people. Also, I, I must add that I don't think it's just the Birmingham music scene. I, I believe it's like the Midlands music scene. It's all inter intertwined, especially the West Midlands. So Wolverhampton, Walsall, Birmingham, you know, they all connect. So, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, fantastic. Always expanding, always expanding. Wonderful. So what kind of role do you have in the Birmingham music scene then? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I work with Ben Drummond a lot, who's, who, who runs a lot of the events at uh, the Jam House. And I've worked with Jake Henry and a lot of other you know, like professional musicians on the Birmingham scene, but I've, I've run events uh, like the, the acoustic events at uh, the Jam House. Uh, I do, my place here really is just, uh, I'm an acoustic singer-songwriter, but I kind of want to bend that a little bit. Like, I've released two records this year and uh, they're fully instrumental based, you know, they, they're full arrangements. So I, I think I'll demonstrate that tonight with the, the rhythm section and um, with, with the band tonight. So it's the first time in three and a half years that I've played original material with a band on stage. So, I'm very excited. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Check out your tunes. Where do they go? Well, you can go on Spotify if you type in Sean Duggan. Uh, you'll find it, man. Like, even, if you, even if you Google me, you'll find me. Like, Sean Duggan, Cage of Hurricane, Sean Duggan, Chemical Soul. Those are the two records you want. I'm on every major streaming platform. So, Fantastic, fantastic. What's the most exciting thing about um, your new music release? What do you enjoy the most about um, when you do gigs? What's the best part for you? Well, the, the best part for me is that I'm a very personal writer. I have a lot to say, but as, as someone with that, I have ADHD, man, so I can't get everything into one sentence. So I have to speak a lot, as, as you know. Like, but the thing is, when you get on stage, and especially when I get on stage, I don't know how it's going to be tonight because I haven't played with one in ages. All I know is that I get kind of consumed in being able to express myself and my emotions and, and entertain people at the same time. So it's, it's almost like you write songs and you write from your heart. It's, it's like you fucking... Oh, you can censor that. It's like you... Uh, oh, okay, shit, man. Yeah, it's wicked. It's like, it's like people are being entertained by my pain. That's what songwriting is. And, and I enjoy that. I get a kick out of that. It's like a kink. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it's all about. So it's all about. We're going to end up with, if you had to describe yourself as a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? Oh, man, I'd be like uh, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Lucky what? Charms. Which specific Lucky Charm would you identify with personally? Actually, I think I changed my mind. I love Reese's, like the peanut butter. Reese, Reese's does a cereal and once I, I like I come off meds once and I, I put loads of weight on and I found out it was because I was having like three boxes of Reese's day, like because it's just so amazing yeah I love this cereal by that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you have it from Sean Duggan try Reese's pieces check him out on Spotify all the major streaming platforms uh, my Instagram by the way my Instagram is Sean Duggan Muso all one word Sean spelt the Irish way, S-E-A-N. Nice. <laughs>